it, this is a much needed band-aid, but it's really not a solution. You know, the business is affected. They aren't looking for handouts. They aren't really looking for anything free. They, they just want their livelihoods back and to get back to work. You know, this yo-yo effect of businesses seeing how unfair the economic winners and losers of the COVID economy were chosen. The small businesses, a lot of them have lost faith, they're defeated and they're broke. And so all they were asking for was the same opportunity like other businesses to be able to operate safely. You know, there shouldn't be a choice between businesses operating under the COVID precautions and manage the virus and managing the virus. It's not a competition. We can and we should do both. Um, I think if we truly cared about helping businesses, we would fight to do whatever we could to allow businesses the right to safely open. I hope the governor who doesn't even follow his own rules is happy today because today our businesses are shut down and yet our cases are rising with no link at all to any of the, any of the businesses that went from red to purple. Today, our positivity rate is three times what it was when we were in the red. We're at 21 out of 100,000. That is 21 one hundredths of 1%, not even a quarter of 1% of those being tested at a rate of 20,000 tests a day are testing positive. And less than 10% of our overall hospital bed capacity are COVID patients. And we still have about 1,600 empty beds in San Diego County. So is this a reason not to follow the health protocols? Absolutely not. But is it a reason to shut down businesses who are willing to safely operate? I, I don't think so. So you know, I hope the governor is happy with the mental anguish, the anxiety, the isolation, the increased drug use, the loss of our children's education, the loss of the businesses and livelihoods. And I do want to thank, though, the county staff, the county hospital workers, all the first responders for the hard work and their effort in controlling the virus and protecting our most vulnerable. They've done a top-notch job. They've also helped people get tested, helping people find resources, helping, them, helping those who get the virus get better. And, and for those businesses who can come into compliance. So today, we've not been of one voice. And if you didn't fall lockstep in line with the governor, you were ridiculed. If you sought answers from outside multiple sources, you were called a conspiracy theorist, if you had different ideas of how to handle this, handle COVID while balancing livelihoods, you were called reckless. You know, I hope the governor's proud of this mess by losing the faith of the populace, setting a bad example and moving the goalposts by giving us a color-coded plan to nowhere. I'm supportive of this item and trying to in trying to help businesses. So I will support it in favor, but I'm in favor of it. But I think it's unfortunately it's a much needed band-aid, but it's not a solution.